be with us all the time. Amen. Amen. You can walk, you can drive, or you can join us by audio or video. Amen. And we want to welcome all the NBC family, all of yes. you that are joining us by audio or video. Amen. And all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God is something for you. Amen. Amen. If you go to a birthday party, you go to some kind of party, you're going to be ready to receive something. Yes. Amen. So uh, prepare because God is something for you. He says, I lay a table before you. There's a table there for you. But you yes. know what? If there's a table served, guess what? There's something for us to partake. Yes. yes. Amen. But you have to do something about it. He's already laid the table. What are you going to do? Amen. Well, that's not for me, you know. Uh, you know, I'm just down and out. I'm a nobody. That's not for me. You know, we just start confessing all these negative things about ourselves. Mm. Well, quit confessing what the world says and confess what the Word of God says. Amen. Amen. Woo, I'm excited. I don't know about you. But anyway, He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and He wants to correct us. You know, yes. why? Because He's our Heavenly Father and we're His children. Yes. So what does the Father do? He corrects His children. Sometimes yes. we need to just... Uh, Give us a little kick on our Kumasiyama and get us on the right way, you know. And uh, some of us fall, but you know, it's time to get up. It's yeah. time to get up and press on with the things yeah, of God, yes, you know. Yes. Quit feeling sorry for yourself, you know. That's hey, it. Lord, I missed it. <laughs> Give me another chance. And yes. you know what? He's the God of the second chance and the yeah. third chance and the fourth chance yeah. and all these chances. Yes. So don't give up on yourself. He yes. never gave up on you. Jesus never gave up on you. He went Amen. all the way to the cross. He could have just said, forget it, Father. These guys are ugly. Amen. These guys are ugly. Forget it. No. He went and he, and he paid the price for us. Amen. So now we owe that to him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Well, I'm excited. But uh, grab your, 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 your sword. So is your God. Amen. And let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. Together. Here we go. Thank you. This is my... Put it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Bible. I, I am what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hey, your mind is alert. You know, you're either thinking about him or you're thinking against him. But the enemy knows where he'll attack. What is he attacking? The battlefield is the mind. And he can't, he can't make you do anything. But he can put some thoughts there. Yeah. And you know, it's up to you to say, man, I need to renew myself yeah. to the things of God. Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to start repeating the negative things and yeah. doing the negative things. When you start confessing the negative things, you're going to join the bad, the, the same old uh, bad crowd. I mean, you're going to go back to the same old stuff, you know. So you don't want to go there. You want to renew your mind and say, wait a minute, this is what I need to do. This is where I need to be. This is where I need to be going going in the right way, not the wrong way. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. That was for somebody. Hold on. Somebody needed that. Well, we're going to be talking again about praising Him. Man, let's go part two, and we're going to open up and do some reviewing, and then we're going to press on. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praising Him. <laughs> if you don't know this, I'm going to remind you, you were created to praise Him. Amen. Okay. So don't pass it up on somebody else. Yeah. You know, when you find when you go through the Bible and read it and find out what Jesus did for us, man, you're gonna want to praise him. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to go through what he went through. Mm -hmm. And if you're trying to go and do what he did, yeah. me, you're saying that wasn't good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to take you on the side and well, first you gotta get saved. Yes. Yes. And then the rest of us will take you on the side and lay hands on you <laughs> and let you know how much right. Jesus loves you. He said he already paid it. You don't have to go do it again. Why? To draw attention to yourself? No. That's, if he did it, he paid it. And yes. guess what? He defeated yeah, right. the enemy. You're fighting a defeated foe. You're fighting a defeated enemy. Yes. Yeah. Amen. You got to get right in the word and you got to get the word in you yes. so the word of God can come out of you. Uh, Amen. Yeah. The Bible says out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers. of oh, living Lord. water. Man, you're speaking live. Amen. So yeah. quit talking the negative stuff. Woo, hallelujah. Lord. And listen to this. If you don't know this, you need to write this somewhere. Put it somewhere. But mm -hmm. Praise is a weapon. Yes, it is. You know, don't go around saying, you know, hey, well, praise is just for the ladies, you know. Is that right? Mm. Praise is a weapon. Yeah. Amen. And it's a weapon against the enemy. Yes. Uh, amen. So, let's get to praising Him. 
Yeah. Well, I don't know what to do. Well, I don't know what to say. Well, you know what? When you don't know what to do of all things, just praise Him. Praise Him. Yes. You know, we're going to talk a little more, a little bit about why do you see people raising their hands, you know? Well, this is, we use our body, you know, symbols, things that we do, you know, to praise Him. Raise your hands up, you know. Uh, one of our scriptures we're going to be going over is Hebrews 10, 24 and 25. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. I think we, yeah, praise him. Keep going. This is 13. Well, that's okay. That's okay. It says Hebrews 13 and 5 says, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let us. That means you have for something to do. Yes. He did his part, and he sitting at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. Praying, interceding for us. Yeah. Now we have a part to do. But it says, let us offer the sacrifice of praise continually. Yes. This is the fruit of your lips, giving yes. thanks to his, to his name. name. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. So we we can do this. So don't call yourself a whip just because you sing unto the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you go swing singing sing, sing to your sweetheart, <laughs> your no. girlfriend, or your wife. Man. <laughs> Uh, I can't sing. Wait, what, you did real good singing to them. You can offer that truth from your lips and sing it unto God and praising Him. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. Keep going. Okay, well, <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> when you praise Him, we're going to catch an attitude. God wants us to catch an attitude of gratitude. Oh, yes, he Amen. Have an attitude of gratitude. Man, I like this. What is He doing? He's got his hands up. He's praising. Amen. Him, him, her, they, they're happy. Amen. Attitude of gratitude and do what? Be thankful. Yeah. Amen. Don't just say, well, you know, hey, I'm looking around see who's watching me. Uh -huh. I don't do it for you to watch me. Or I don't do it to see who's, who's going to catch this. I'm doing it because I'm doing it on the hymn. And sometimes yeah, yeah. I close my eyes. Amen. I don't want to draw attention to myself. But listen, I want to praise him. Yeah. And if you're watching me, you're not worship, you're not praising yeah. him. You're just walking around. We talked about, uh -huh. about that in a few minutes. But you need to stay focused on him. And if I have closed my eyes to keep myself focused on him, so be it. Yes. You said, well, he was sleeping. No, I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> I have my eyes closed because I was worshiping, praising him. Gratitude is the best attitude. Keep going. It says, being positive. A positive attitude is a content, con, what? Contagious. contagious, but don't wait to catch it from some someone else or from others. Be a carrier. Yeah. You're a child of God. Yeah. You should always yeah. have this in you. Yeah. You know, hey, you go around spreading it to somebody else. Somebody see you. Guess what they're gonna do? I don't know. Do that. You know, you see, you let your hero, your sports hero, or your singing hero, or whatever kind of hero doing these things, guess what? Man, I'm going to do that because mm -hmm. so-and-so did it. Mm -hmm. okay. You're a child of God. Amen. What are you doing? I'm praising my God. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying thank you. Being mm -hmm. grateful. Having an attitude mm -hmm. of gratitude. Yeah. Amen. It's okay. Here we go. This is what I was going to read to you. Let us. Just let us. <laughs> yeah. Us. 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 Consider how to stir up one another. Oh, yeah. To yeah. love and good works not neglecting the meeting together as right. is the habit of some but encouraging one another yes and all the more as you see the day drawing near yes it's getting closer and closer all the time yes Amen. Uh, uh, so patricia uh shared this story with me so i'll share it with you <laughs> first of all let me see how i wrote it the banana we all assemble ourselves together as a bunch <laughs> and encourage one another. <laughs> the bananas come in bunches. But guess what? Hey, they're strong when they're in bunches. <laughs> but you take one banana out of there, and guess what? You left the bunch. Yeah. You left the group. And what's going to happen? You're going to get peeled. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get peeled. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You know, we assemble ourselves together. We come together and yeah. worship Him. Amen. Yes. So guess what? As long as we're together and as long as we're praying for one another, mm -hmm. hey, you know, sister so-and-so, brother so-and-so, they're not doing so well. Mm. So I say, oh, well, they should have been here. Mm -hmm. No, we can pray for them. Yes. Yes. Amen. Cover them with the blood of Jesus. Cover them with prayer and pray Amen. for them. 
There's no distance in prayer. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Well, Lord, I just, whatever they're going through, Lord, I just lift them up. You know what's best for them right now. Touch them, Lord. Amen. Let me see how I wrote it. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Leave our assembly. Love our assembly. I love our God's protection and the enemy as a roaring lion. Yes. He comes to steal, kill, destroy. He comes to see who may he devour. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful. You know, hey, I'm not going to church today. Well, I'm not going to your group today. I'm not assembling myself with you today. Well, guess what? You're leaving the bunch. You're leaving not only God's protection, you're leaving all our prayers. And, and when you're on your own, guess what? That's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to isolate you. Now you like that little banana all by himself. The enemy's going to peel you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So that's enough about the banana. Let me tell you about the prodigal son. <laughs> the prodigal son. Listen, if you never knew what prodigal means, I'll tell you. Prodigal means wasteful. Oh boy. Waste, wastefully extravagant. Mm. Says spend money mm -hmm. or resources freely and recklessly. Oh man. Amen. Woo. Uh, Luke, uh, if you read Luke 15 to, to 30, well, basically the whole the whole chapter, mm -hmm. you can go read it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Read it for yourself. Amen? It says Jesus tells a story about a father who has two sons. Amen? And the father is good and loving, and he is good, but still he has those two sons. One is good and one is not so good. And this one son uh, uh, hates him says the younger son goes to the father and tells him he's leaving he's leaving home forever and ask him for his inheritance mm -hmm. amen listen what is he doing he's leaving that banana bunch yeah <laughs> he's leaving the bunch yeah. and he's going on yeah. himself if you go read the story you'll find out mm -hmm. man when he goes out there guess what as soon as he spent it won't take you long to spend all that blow that money oh. spend all that money when that money is gone guess what People won't forget about you. Mm -hmm. All them nice friends you had when the you had the money, mm -hmm. they're gone. They go find somebody else. That's it. And you're all isolated by yourself. And he found himself with the pigs yeah. in the trough, in the in the, in the dirty water, eating them wasteful stuff. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. said, "Man, I can do better than this at Father's mm -hmm. house." Yes. Yeah. Amen. Listen, let's do, let's go there right quick. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Luke. Look at look at Luke fifteen twenty. Oh, help me, Lord! Woo, <laughs> man, his words got smaller. <laughs> oh, uh, Luke fifteen twenty 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 twenty. I'm, I went to Luke twenty <laughs> fifteen twenty. And he rose, and he came to the father. But when he was yet a great distance off, the father saw him and had compassion on the son, and uh, tell his uh, and fell on the what the no, net and kissed him. Mm -hmm. He saw him coming. You know what? Jesus is is watching and he's waiting for you to come home. Mm -hmm. Some of you. You've been gone all this time. Yeah. <laughs> but just like the father, you know, hey, he's waiting for you to come home. Yes. Amen. So I don't care what the world says. I don't care what people say mm -hmm. or what they've said about you. You're no good. Any negative things they've said about you. Jesus is waiting for you. He's waiting for you to say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come to my life and I'm going to save you. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He's going to receive you. The father kept yes, looking is. and waiting yes. for the son to come home. You know, you, you parents, you know, your kids come and they have a fit and they leave. But guess what? Every day you wait for them to come home. Amen. <laughs> so we need, we need to come to him. Amen. We, 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 we need to come to him. And uh, where was I? And, and listen, well, 21 says what? Son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight, and no more worthy to be called thy son. You see, see, that's the, the, the people are going to say these things about you, and you're going to start believing the negative instead of the positive. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he, he's already confessing, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. Go ahead, 22. 
But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. Keep on. And bring him the feather, fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. One more. For this my son was dead and is alive again. Yes. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Amen. Amen. But you know, you know what's going to happen. The older son, no, <laughs> he's going to hear this. Old, he ain't going to like it. He said, I didn't win any. I, I stayed here and I did all this for you. And he's he's checked off. He's mad. Yeah. Amen. And people are gonna be mad. They're gonna be jealous. You know, if we if we're for one another and we're serving the same God, ain't no room for jealousy amongst us. Amen. Amen. You know, when you realize we were all called differently. We've all been gifted differently. We do different things. So I don't have to do what you do, you don't have to do what I do. But we do this. Go around and uh, reconciling people to him. Mm -hmm. Going and serve him. Go out and serve him. So praise God. Let's 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 remember that. Yes, because amen. the enemy always comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes, and if you're not if you're not hooked up with, with Jesus, you're hooked up with the enemy. And yeah. the enemy will use you just as well. So you gotta be careful. You don't say, well, you know, I'm in the middle. I don't serve neither one. Mm. Oh. If you ain't serving Jesus, you're serving the enemy. Yeah. Yes. Because you ain't doing nothing. Because God nothing. didn't, Jesus didn't put you here to just be by yourself and, and do nothing. That's it. Amen. He put you here on a mission. Yeah. And he yeah. equipped you and anointed you. So yes. you need to be busy doing something for yeah. him. Yeah. And if you're not doing it, you're serving the enemy. Come on now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you still that pastor? <laughs> Again, we were created to praise Him. Amen. So, still, let's 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 remember this. Immediately, the son disqualified himself. He says, "I'm not good enough." Mm -hmm. The father says, "You're good enough." He was yeah. waiting for him to come home. Yeah. He yeah. told the servants what to do. Get this. Get the robe. Get the rain. Get mm -hmm. the fatted calf. Yes. And man, you're back. Like I said many times, you all, a lot of us can fall, yes. yeah. but we don't have to stay down. No yeah. matter how we, I confess and I repent, get up, get up. and press oh. on. Yes. Amen. Get off your kumusayama and it's time to press on with the things of God. Amen. And you know, you know what else to do? Go to go to the Father. Go to Him and say, Lord, I need yeah. your help. Absolutely. I guarantee you, Jesus went there many times, and He never gave up. So we don't have to give up. Okay. Just go to him. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah, we were created to praise him. Isaiah, uh, keep going, Scott. Let me see. I got a lot of these little slides for you. Uh, <laughs> uh, first, 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 first uh, uh, John 4, 23 and 24 says, in the New Living Translation, But the time is coming indeed. It is here now. When the true worshipers will worship the Father uh, yes. in spirit and in truth. And in truth. The Father is looking for those who will worship Him that way. Yes. God is a spirit and those that worship Him must worship Him in yes. spirit, spirit and, and in truth. truth. Amen. 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 So don't... Amen. They, were, they, they, they were upset when David went dancing before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. And yes. we even got to us. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to dance before him. It's okay to lift your hands before him. Yes. Amen. It's okay to sing before him. Yes, yes. Amen. Hey, we learn all the worldly songs and guess what? Mm -hmm. We sing them all the time. Mm -hmm. And we don't care. Do you ever hear or listen what you're saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of it is negative stuff. Mm -hmm. But you were saying, man, I like that. But we come to church and instead of singing the good things, Oh, we pass it up, you know. We say, oh. All right, I don't, I don't like the songs they sing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, uh, keep going to the next one, Scott. It says uh, Isaiah fifty-three and twenty-one says in, in the uh, uh, New King James says the people I have formed for myself says they shall declare my praise. Yes. Amen. Yes. The yes. easy to read version says I make them and they will sing songs uh -huh. to praise me. Yeah. You were created to praise him. Amen. So if you're not doing it, it's time that you do. Mm -hmm. Get with it. <laughs> know what the word of God says. I like this one. It says, the people that I made will sing songs to praise me. 
-hmm. God. Isaiah 43 and 21. You know, when, when I give you scripture, just go find it for yourself. Amen. And, and highlight it for yourself. Personalize it. Says the people I made. Well, scratch people and put your name there. Yes. Yes. He created me, Jose. I'm going to sing songs to praise my God. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's okay. You know, you're not a wimp. If you think Jesus was a wimp for what he did, you are crazy. We need to lay hands on him. <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise Let's God. See. Thank you, Lord. Uh, there we go. Just leave right there. First Thessalonians 5, 16 and 18 says, Always be thankful. Always be joyful. Always keep on praying. Yes. Amen. Pray without ceasing. No matter what happens, always be thankful. For this is yes. God's will for you who belong to Amen. Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. And uh, we just kind of went over some of these and I'll, I'll, I'll read them back to you. It says, some have never been taught about praise and worship. Uh -huh. You know what? If you don't know the truth, it can't set you free. That's and it. some of us don't know these things. Yeah. Amen. Right. Uh, we get in the world and we do all kinds of things for the world. Mm -hmm. But we come to church or we get with our God and we don't know what to do. That's mm -hmm. ignorance. We, we got to know what the word of God says. Yes. It says some of us have never been taught. And listen. Instead of participators, we become spectators. Uh -huh. You know what spectators do? I, I told you this. We become audiences. Mm -hmm. We want to be entertained. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> we never, but oh, and, you know, audiences are never pleased. Amen. Amen. We become yeah. watchers. We become viewers. We become onlookers, wow. and we become judgment. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, I can do it better than them. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. They're not doing it right. Yeah. They're supposed to be doing it like this. Yeah. All of a sudden, you know how to do everything. But you're not up here. And you're not doing it. <laughs> Come on. We sit on company instead of participating and entering. Participators join in. Yes. You know, participators are, what's the word I need? Participators uh, are team members. Yeah, yeah. Part participators uh, are, for, are praise in unity. Yeah. We're doing this in unity. Yes. Amen. Hey, hallelujah. Uh, we're partakers. We contribute. We take part and we chip in. Yes. Yes. They don't know that singing, shouting, dancing, clapping, uh, lifting of your hands, yes. or even musical instruments mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are all scriptural. Yes, yes, they are. You know, if somebody tells you, <laughs> we don't do that in our church. <laughs> Is that right? Can you show me scripture? <laughs> Remember, they need to show you scripture. If they can't show you scripture, it's time for you to go somewhere else. Mm. Well, we don't do that in our church. Mm. Is that right? So right. you go and by what tradition says or what so and so says. Yes. Let's go by what the word of God says. Yes, amen. And then find out for yourself and then go somewhere where they are preaching and teaching from the word of God. Amen. Amen. I mean, this is the right thing to do. It's in the Bible. Yes. <laughs> amen. Hallelujah. Listen, I said this. Just we do it more freely at worldly events than we do it at the church. That's sad. I guarantee you. I've been to any sporting event you can call. You can you can name. Amen. And guess what? <laughs> man, I joined in with them, man. They somebody scores a touchdown, man. I'm jumping up and down. My hands up, shouting, moving, whatever they doing, I'm doing, man. We come to church. And we're too quiet and see we, we, we look looking around and see who's watching me. I don't want nobody to know. Mm -hmm. Well you just yeah. made yourself a fool over there in all this crowd, you know, a, a concert, whatever uh -huh. event happens uh -huh. to be. Man, yeah. he was just man, you took the whole thing, man. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and and when it's time to praise and worship God, oh no. Mm -mm. You know, well, you can make a fool out of yourself over there, dressed all funny, you know, or wearing no clothes, or run down the field, you know, street and no wearing no clothes. Mm -hmm. And people watching you, and you, we come to church and we can even lift our hands. Oh no! All mm -mm. right, Woo, come on. <laughs> but you know, I have scriptures for all these. Lifting up your hands, Psalms one uh, one forty one two, mm -hmm. clapping. Psalms 47 and 1. 
the bowing down, Psalms 50, uh, 51, uh, excuse me, 56 and uh, 6, 55 and 6, kneeling, yeah. same thing, 55, 95 and 6, amen, dancing, uh, Psalms 190, uh, 149 and 3, and 150 and 4, mm. and these things are, uh, it, it, we can do these things, it's yeah. okay, amen, and musical instruments, well, we don't play music instruments at our, at our church. Well, you don't want to go somewhere else. <laughs> First Chronicles 13 and 8, Psalms 108, 2, and Psalms 153 through 5. Amen. And we can we can do these things. Don't don't hold back. Amen. <laughs> so some uh, we mentioned some skip part of services, you know, because you know praise and worship is not for me, you know. So I just come in to hear the word. Well. <laughs> We may just stay in the praise and worship all the time. Amen. You know, just like God told uh, Joshua to send the praisers up front. The yes, walls of Jericho are going to come down. Uh, what walls do are bothering you? What walls are coming against you right now? Mm -hmm. You know, as you praise and worship Him, you know, them walls are going to come down. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Them walls have to come down. Yeah. Because they have to obey the word of God. Yes. They have to bow to the word of God. Amen. So don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Be a participator, not just a spectator. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know what spectators do? They watch. Yeah. Point fingers. And point fingers and they judge. And they ain't doing it right. And that's not the songs I like. You know. Mm -hmm. They need to sing some songs I like. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're not singing them for you. They're singing them unto him. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, <laughs> so, so that or uh, choose, you know, I'm not coming here no more, you know, because they're not doing it the way my old church used to do it. <laughs> and we're choosing traditions over what the Word of God says. So I'm going to choose the right denomination that won't offend me or won't challenge me. Yeah. And sometimes we got to challenge one another, you know. Yes. So, hey, this is what the Word of God says. You know, I'm giving you what the Word says so that you can take it and do what the Word says. You're not coming against me. You can't hurt me. He's the one you're coming against. Yes. Amen. I'm just telling you what he says. <laughs> so, no rocks against the pastor. No throwing right. rocks and no stones against the pastor. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. Amen. <laughs> I'm just preaching you what he is saying. <laughs> Luke 19 and 40. Keep going, Scott. Here we go. I just gave you some big stones so you can see. He says, Jesus says in the Amplified, I'm telling you, if these people keep silence, he says, these stones will cry out. Yes. These stones will praise me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? God, God, when God created you, he gave you a free will. Yes. And it's up to you. He's not going to violate your will. No, he's not. You know, you either come to him or you reject him. You either praise him or you don't praise him. But one day he'll stand before you yeah. and you'll tell him why. Absolutely. And there ain't going to be nobody around you. There ain't going to be nobody else to please around you. It. It's just you and him. And what are you going to say? Well, I was just pleasing my friends. Yeah. I didn't feel like it. Bro. <laughs> you know what he's going to say? He said, I didn't feel like going to the cross either. But I went anyway. Yes. Amen. So you you lose. <laughs> I read him say, "Enter in, good and faithful servant." Then saying, "Depart from me. I never knew you." You have a choice, and the choice is yours, not somebody else, not the friends you're trying to please, mm -hmm. but Him. Yes. Amen. Praise and worship is not just a warm up for. That's service it. That's it. you know hey we we've gone to all these worldly events all these games you know and man they always have some good warm-ups you know before the real game well, i don't like the warm-ups you know i just am going to the game <laughs> <laughs> you need to participate in it again you know yeah one day he's going to come back he might come in while you praise and worship him yes amen or maybe he comes back while you're just out of it and don't want to get into it. Amen. So you'll never know. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you're invited. It says do it all but all the time. Not just once in a while, but every time. Amen. Yes. He comes daily. 
He comes all the time. He says, I'm knocking, but you ain't letting me in. Nobody's going to come in until you say you come in. Yeah. And he's not going to violate your will. That's right. You got to open up and say, Lord, I thank you for what you've done. Yeah. Thank you. Come. Come in. You know, come. Let's talk together. You know, you know what's best for me. Yeah. And then take all the hurt. Take all and make me what you want me to be. Amen. Mm. Come on now. Yeah. If we open and make ourselves available, he will come in. If we reject him, we can't complain about him not visiting. Right. You know how he visits you also, not only while you're doing praise and worship, mm -hmm. he visits you when you're reading the word. Mm -hmm. Well, I never read the word. You know? Well, we oh, yeah. know. Oh. And he knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I never read the word. I know it all. Is that right? Oh. He will, will, we reject him. We can't complain about him not visiting. Don't complain. Don't tell somebody he, he never does anything for him. Well, we never open up to him. We never accept him. Lord, come and take and all the, all the things that are, that, that are not pleasing to you. Amen. He also visits with us and we open and read his word. Guess what? He's right there. Amen. Lord, open your word. Yes. Amen. Make it real to me. I want to do what your word says. He only comes when we open the door and invite him in. The door is always open for us. Like the prodigal son. The father, every day, he went out and looked down the road to see his son come, come back. You know, I guarantee you, your parents want you back. Amen. We just run out, you know, have a fit and take off. Yeah. Well, your parents will always be your parents and your parents are always going to love you so it's time that you have the right attitude and receive that and come home yeah. amen just like that prodigal son finally says i could do better at father's house you could do better with him you're on the winning team amen with him you can do all things without him you can do nothing amen amen <laughs> hallelujah yeah. We got a bunch of little, you know, a few more. Uh, keep going. We'll read that in a few minutes. Here's a, here's one of them. Isaiah. Isaiah 61 and 3 says what? Put on the garment of praise. Mm -hmm. For the spirit of heaven is. Yeah. You know, you're having a hard time. Mm. You come against it. You know, you put the spirit of... You put this uh, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaven. Yes. You know, the world, the enemy, they try to put all these heavy things on you. And you could have it if you want it. But he, what is he saying? He says, give it on to me. Cast it on me. Give it to me. You don't have to carry this, you know. Put on the garment of praise and give it all to him. Keep, keep going. Here we go. Psalms 34 and 1 says, What? I will bless the Lord sometimes. Oh, oh. oh. At all times, mm -hmm. it says, His praise shall continually, continually be in my, in my mouth. Amen. It's okay. You know, He's going to use you to reach other people. Yeah. When you make yourself available, He's going to use you to reach other people. Amen. He says, Go into all you. He says in, in, in uh, 2 Corinthians 5 17, says that now we are ministers of reconciliation. You are a new creature in Christ. The old is gone. The new is in. Yes. And the people, the negative people <laughs> that you used to hang around with, they're going to fall off. Mm -hmm. If not, they're going to come and they're going to try to tell you that you made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to know and say, I'm, I'm going to press on. I'm going to go with the things of God. Yes. And forget the old and press on with the new things. Yes. You're yeah. a new creature in Christ. I had a spiritual birth, guys. Yes. I may look the same on the outside, but on the inside, I had a spiritual birth. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to press on with the things of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to press on with the things of God. Amen. But you know, people only go by, by sight. Only what they see. But on the inside, I'm going to press on because I'm stepping out in faith now instead of fear. Amen. So praise God. You see what he's doing? He's praising God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Continue to be in my mouth. 
It's okay. It's time to change. We're changing partners. <laughs> used to be the world enemy. Now it's Jesus. You keep going. Keep going. Psalm 63, 3 and 4. King James says, Because thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise, shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It's okay. You know, only wimps do that. Is that right? <laughs> Bible says Jesus wept too. Is he a wimp? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, if Jesus wept, I, I, I mean, I, I cry all the time. We're in good company. <laughs> <laughs> We're in good company. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, and what he went through, mm -hmm. some of our heroes would never even mm -hmm. do or go through the things that he went through. Man, mm -hmm. no way. Keep going. I like that. Yay. Lord. There we go. Psalms 95 and 6 says, what? Come, yes. let us worship and bow down. down. Let us kneel before, before the Lord, Lord our Maker. Maker. Mm -hmm. It's okay to kneel. Yes. It's okay to clap. It's okay to lift your hands. Praise Him. Yes. Amen. Amen. It says, Come, let us worship and bow down. Let's yes. kneel before the Lord our Maker. Our Maker. Amen. Amen. Praise so. We got scripture for these things. It's okay, you know. Don't try to be a macho man, you know. They ain't got no scripture. They <laughs> and uh, one more. There we go. Second Samuel six fourteen. King James says, "And David danced before the Lord with oh, all his man. might, oh, my goodness. and he went hiding it. You know, uh -huh. he was dancing, and people saw him, and they were ticked off. Yeah. They were upset." Oh, say, no, 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 no. You know, mm -mm -mm. the only ones that's going to be ticked off watching you in here mm -hmm. dance or watch, watching you lift your hands or sing are those that are spectating. Yeah. Those that are judging. <laughs> they're going to be the ones that said, well, you didn't do it right. Mm -hmm. Next time, i got to show you how to do it right. Mm -hmm. But you ain't doing anything. You're not entering in. You're still spectating. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank yeah. you, Lord. <laughs> And of course, Nehemiah, what, keep going? Nehemiah 8 and 10, I'm just doing yes. the, uh, the, the last part of it, says, Don't be dejected and sad, it says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. strength. Amen. Look to Him. Amen. He'll give you the strength that you need on a daily basis, or whatever the situation happens to be. Amen. Amen. Lord. But the joy of the Lord is going to be your strength. Right. So praise Him, so He can give you the strength that you need on a daily Amen. basis. And yes. that's on, on a daily basis, amen, yes. not once in a while. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Again, uh, church, when we are open, when we open our mouth and do what God has created us to do in praising and worshiping Him, that joy is going to come. Yes. Change is going to come. Yes. And you're going to be happy and you're going to be pleased. He's going to be more happy. Mm -hmm. And you know, regardless of what people say or people do, you know, they just hold that. They hold themselves back. But don't hold yourself back. Yes, Remember yes. that praise is a weapon against the enemy. Yes. Amen. The, your only enemy. Yes. Psalm 8 and 2 says this. In the easy to read version it says, From the mouth of children and babes comes songs of praise. To you they sing of your power to silence the enemy. You want to silence the enemy? Oh, you want yeah. to get rid of the enemy? Yeah. Start singing praises unto him. Yeah. You start singing praises unto him. Mm -hmm. The enemy's got to go. That's it. You know, he says, submit yourself to God. Resist, Resist the enemy. The devil. I'm going to praise him. And the enemy, he's, he's going to flee from you. He's going to run from you. Yeah. He ain't just going to think about it. He's got to go. He's got to go. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> and uh, I'll close with this one. But it says, Ephesians 5 and 20 says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Always, always, always. It's a lifestyle. I've changed my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. I've come to Christ. Yes. Amen. I used to be. It says the old is gone, the new is yeah. in. And I'm yeah. going to start doing this. And it's going to be like this. You know, and guess what? The old is gone. That means the old crowd, the old friends. So-called yes. friends are gone, yes. and the new is coming. God's going to put the right people, yes. the right friends yes, around is. you, you know, for yes. a season. 
Well, there were things in your not to me, but he's going to put the right people there for you. Amen. Yeah. So you don't worry about it. You don't worry about it. You just yeah. trust him, and he's going to bring everything in order. He's going to bring yeah. people around you. Mm -hmm. Amen. The people that he wants. Amen. And uh, Apostle Paul reminds us the keys to victory, victorious living is this. Praise and worship him. Give thanks and have an attitude of gratitude. When yes. you have an attitude of gratitude, mm -hmm. that means you just say thank you. When you don't say what else, to, you don't know what else to say. Say thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank well, I, I didn't know what to say. Can you say thank you? Mm -hmm. you just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Thank you for this thing. It says yes. this is the day I have given you. Mm -hmm. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yes. Amen. Why are you not? If you're not focused on Him. That means you've got all the cares of the world on you. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah you're yeah. still whole, trying to figure mm -hmm. out how we're going to do this. Yeah. Well, you didn't give it to him. Mm -hmm. You know, just give it, cast it on him mm -hmm. and let him take care of it. You know, all anxieties, all cares, all concerns. Lord, I'm giving you all these things because you know what to do with them. I don't. Mm -hmm. I just want to do whatever it is that you want me to do. Yes. And I'm going to press on this thing. Yeah. Amen. So, hallelujah. Yeah. Did you receive? Amen. 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 Let me uh, close with this. Uh, if you open your Bibles to Psalms 100 and 150, we're going to read them too as we close. Psalms. 100? Yeah, Psalms 100 okay. and, uh, and 150. Oh, okay. Psalms. Psalms says this. Uh, 100 says this. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. Amen. You. Serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, gladness. <laughs> it's not sad serving God, you know. Say, so serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with what? Sing. Singing. I'm going to sing because Jesus wants me to sing. Yeah. So if you don't like my singing, I sit somewhere else. <laughs> know ye that the Lord is God and is he that made us and not we yes. ourselves. For we are his what? His people and the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his court of his praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. And let's go to 150 and see what 150 says. These are great uh, songs of uh, praise. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let everything praise the Lord. That's what mine starts. And what it says, Praise ye the Lord. Yes. Amen. Praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty acts. Yes. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the psaltery and the harp. Uh, bless Him with the uh, tremble and dance. Praise Him with string instruments and organ organs. Praise Him unto upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high sounding symbols uh, let everything that has breath praise the lord and praise ye the lord amen i mean this is for all of us this is for us there's scripture right here for us so why are you still holding back yeah amen know the truth and let that truth set you back you know i mean set you free yeah yeah regardless of the way they've been doing it or the way he's been doing it or whoever's doing it what way do it god's way not people's way Amen. do it god's way and not tradition's yes. way well this is the way it's always been done and we ain't going to change mm -hmm. well fine you ain't going to change but i'm going to change mm -hmm. and i'm going to do it his way this is what the yeah. word of god says so i'm going to do it his way and tradition you can just kick it out the window mm -hmm. amen so praise god did you receive Amen. i received too praise god. Thank, you, lord. <laughs> thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord those of you watching you know just like the prodigal son, you've been gone too long. And it's yeah. time to come home because God, Jesus is watching. Mm -hmm. And he's ready for you. He's been praying for you yes. all this time. Yes. He knows everything about you. Yes. He knows all the wrong about you. And still loves you the most. Yes. Yes. And God loved you so much, he sacrificed his son. Yes. Jesus paid the price. So why are you still losing? Mm -hmm. Why are you still lost? Mm -hmm. You know, it's time to come to him. All yes. you need to do is say, Lord, I'm sinning against you. Yes. Come to my heart. Lord. Be my Lord and Savior. And he will. He won't reject you. Regardless of who's told you what. 
but confess him as you know and say yes, yes. and he's going to come and he's going to say forgive this for me because i have anointed you i have called you yes. and you got a, a mission that i have sent you for yes. unto go and fulfill whatever mission god has for you he didn't exclude you he included you mm -hmm. but you've excluded yourself and you believe what the world is saying yes. about you don't believe that yeah. believe what he says amen so amen. hallelujah amen. and uh if you have sickness in your body, he didn't put that sickness on you because he ain't got no sickness in heaven to give you. Amen. So I speak healing over your body. The Bible says that by Jesus Christ you're healed. So confess what the word says about you. Amen. Regardless of what report says, who's reporting you gonna believe? Are you gonna believe the report of the uh, uh, the doctor? Are you gonna believe the report of whatever? Or are you gonna believe the report of what the word of God says? Yes. And the word of God right. says you're healed. Yes. So malfunctions go, sickness go, all these things go. I call you well and I call you here. You know, so when I speak to myself, I say, body, I speak to my body. Yes. This is the temple. Amen. Yes. They say, body, receive your healing now. I receive it in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. So you're healed by his stripes. Amen. Yes. By Jesus' stripes, you're healed. And it's time to give. Yes. So go to our website, nbcbigband.com. Hit that donate button. If you are mailing it, uh, I'm it to NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And for Cash App, New Beginnings Church of the Big Bang. God loves you, and we love you. Have a blessed day.